Operators have accused the Nigerian Ports Authority of deploying selective implementation of electronic truck call-up system. They allege that officials of the port agency have turned the otherwise laudable into, uh, system into an oppressive instrument in the ports. TVC News correspondent Ifanaezi reports. The introduction of the electronic truck call-up system was greeted with so much enthusiasm by port users especially truck operators who anticipated an end to the perennial gridlock that has seen trucks lining up the port access roads for weeks. Months after the commencement of the truck call-up initiative, complaints of selective implementation and manipulation by security operatives persist in the port. Since the implementation of the A2, the environment has been cool and calm. But what do we have in return? MPAC came around with their funny policy to ensure to be selective with whatever they are doing with the ETO. So MPA decide on who moves into the port through the ETO. Individually, when we start individually, you can book from your bedroom and have, when it is your it turn for your trucks to move, you, you know it is your turn. But right now, it has gone the other way around. If you don't have the contact of the inner caucus of the ETO and the MPA system, you can't have access. What you have here is an MPA selectively selecting those that they will implement that po those policies on. Because there are some companies, they call them branded in quotes. They are branded there. Uh, they allow them to park on this corridor. And when you park here as an ordinary individual, they will tow your truck. If you come here at night, what happens here, it's terrible. From uh, Orile on top bridge down to this Niger place, you're going to be spending around 70 to 80,000. The money is being collected by the enforcement. For many of the truck drivers, the fatalities in the port corridor have become rampant and the continued loud silence from the port's authority may trigger avoidable crisis in the port. They disturb us if we want to park, they don't allow us to park. We have the papers, everything that they say we should do. So for us to enter port is another problem. So if they park, they will come with police. They will hang our motto with tow vehicle. They will say they will go and bail it, something like that. So if you beg along the road. They will collect bribery of like 100,000 sometimes. This particular truck was towed on its way to the port, get, and getting along to the Newe building. I think the motorboy came around, tried to hang on the truck. We had information that if, if, if the leg flap it went down, we had information also that it was pushed. The motorboy died there. The driver partner died. We want justice. A top official of the Nigerian Post Authority attributes most of the conflicts to truck drivers' reluctance to comply to guidelines, while truck drivers on their part insist that compliance has remained difficult because officials are compromised. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.